Now we're going to go and look at some fancier 3D objects. Let's go ahead and hide the layer that we have and create a new blank layer and go back up to the 3D menu and we're going to create a new shape from the layer. Now we've got a lot of different shapes that we can create here and some of them are really darn cool. Um, but the two that we're going to work with right now are going to be the cube and the cube wrap. Now there are some slight differences between them. A cube wrap is basically just a regular cube that has the same material on all sides. Now if we want to edit the material, we can double click on the material itself and you'll see right now it's got nothing in it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw on the transparency here, I'm going to go ahead and draw an up arrow. Now I can close it, hit yes, and you'll see that that up arrow appears. Now where does the red come from? The red is actually a diffuse color and if we want to see what that material is we can click on the material or we can go to I think the material editor right here, it's the exact same thing, and you'll see it has a diffuse color and we can change that diffuse color as we want. So we can make it be a white box or a black box, of course it won't be able to see it, um, or we can change it to any color. So that's what the diffuse color is, which is the normal color of that object. I'm going to go ahead and make it white, even though it looks gray in here, and that's because of our lighting. But um, the next box we're going to look at is actually creating a six-sided box, and you're going to need this for one of your tutorials where you have to apply the materials to the each side of the box. So I'm going to create a new uh, um, blank layer, do a 3D new shape from layer, and this time I'm going to choose a regular cube, and you'll see that I have three, um, I'm sorry, six different sides, layer three being one of them, but the six different sides are the six sides that I would be applying my materials to. Now we'll go back and look at the same materials the way we did before. If I go to materials, I can click on each one and see which colors um, are there, and we can change the diffuse colors as we want, but what we're going to do is we're going to load different things into the channels here so we load the 3D materials from external files. Now it's important that you organize your files first and you put the 3D materials that you'll be using in the same folder with your Photoshop document before you um, link to them because I believe that you do make linked um, references when you do this. So it's go ahead and make sure that you move in the um, files that you need um, let's see, right now I think they're in the Illustrator 3D Effects cardboard box. You need to drag those into the same folder as your Photoshop document um, before you do this. But we're going to be applying our 3D materials using Diffuse. So um, go to Diffuse, go to Load Texture, and we'll find the texture that we want. So there's the base, or maybe I'll go with the side first. So there's the side. Now I can go to the next material, and if I really want to see which material I want, I can go to the Material Select tool down here, and then click on it. That way I know which one. That's actually, it says bottom material for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and load just one of the sides instead. And it still says bottom material. So I don't know exactly why it says bottom, so maybe what we should do is give it the bottom material. So we will um, load the texture and we'll use the base. Then we can go to the side that we want, that's the right material. So I'll go to load texture and we'll just say that, that would be side one. Oops, and that has a reference to it already, but that's okay. Anyway, you'll notice that um, our bottom texture is not rotated the same as we want for the other texture. So I need to rotate this texture on its side. And the way that I can do that is by going to that particular um, material and I can even double click on it and then just rotate it with control T. If you select everything and do control T then I can rotate that material in that channel, go ahead and save the changes and you'll see that those changes have applied. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through and um, give all the different sides to your box. Now the nice thing about Photoshop is that you can scale and rotate this without fear of losing the way the material is applied. So enjoy that and I'll see you soon. Next